Good morning. And uh, well, today is actually Memorial Day. And I figured, you know what? How better to start Memorial Day or to have a Memorial Day cook than to use my biggest smoker, Bernadette, to cook the smallest thing I could possibly cook. This is a single pig in a blanket. Yes, we're gonna get it done. and get her opened up and oh yeah <gasps> hey, yo this is dash get ready All right, so if you don't know, this is Bernadette. This is my insulated reverse flow cabinet smoker. This is the biggest smoker I own, but it, I think it's my weight. I think Bessie is a little longer and maybe a little higher as well, a little taller. But nonetheless, we are gonna get, get her started. And we're using a bag of Kingsford briquettes All right, so charcoal basket. Now I can tell you, I haven't used Bernadette in quite some time. It's actually been probably, we're in May. It's probably been almost six months since I've used Bernadette. And I definitely haven't used the charcoal basket in probably a year. So I'm gonna get it full of charcoal and we're gonna get it lit. Well, not full of charcoal, but we're gonna put a whole bag in there. Now we have the fire going. I'm gonna go ahead and get the inside open up, cleaned up, and we'll get some water down in the bottom of the, in the water chamber. You know, if you've never seen Bernadette before, never seen me use Bernadette before, the heat and smoke come out from over here, travel under the water pan, exit out over here. If you can see, I actually have a small, uh, like a tuning plate over here. And then obviously we have our cooking chamber. So. You can see it's been a little while since I've used Bernadette and the little bit of rust and stuff in here uh, definitely does show. Once she comes up to temperature, I'll get the grate sprayed down with some Pam. She'll be right as rain, as good as new. So I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, get the, the water pan filled and yeah. Guess we forgot to close the drain. It happens. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some water in down in here. Now I'm not going to fill Bernadette up. We're not doing a multi-hour cook. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to cook that single pig in a blanket. But this video was actually inspired by Justin the Baby Back Maniac. Okay, this is the Weber Ranch Kettle. This is the biggest Weber kettle in existence. In fact, from here to here, it is 
36 and a half inches. All right, folks, our kettle has reached our target temperature of 225 degrees. Now it is time to apply our meat. Okay, so I haven't done the math in my head, but I believe there's room for one or two more hot dogs if we need to. I figured what was the most ridiculous thing I could do to kind of one up Justin. Hey, Justin, hopefully you find this as funny as I'm hoping that it'll turn out to be. Nonetheless, I am using my biggest smoker to cook the smallest thing that I could cook possibly in the house. I am going to finish getting Bernadette up to temperature and we're gonna go from there. Because I'm not doing a crazy long cook today and I'm really just cooking that single pig in a blanket, I am gonna go ahead and not fill up the water box completely. I'm gonna get this closed off. We're gonna go ahead and just sit, sit back, watch it and enjoy Memorial Day in Memorial Day fashion. And I'm just gonna sit back and relax and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to let it come up to temperature. All right, so it's been about an hour and I have gone ahead and I'm getting ready to, I've, I've already started spraying. Unfortunately, camera malfunction. I didn't turn the camera on. Justin, I even talked to, to you about the fact that I have, there's a guy over in, my, in the driveway with a moped. You could have heard it. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish spraying, burning it down, and then we'll, we'll get to cooking a little bit once she comes up, just a little higher temperature. Now, because of the fact that I don't use Bernadette as much as I probably should, that's why there's as much rust on the shell as there is. <laughs> if I use Bernadette more often, then obviously with the greases and other things like that from whatever I'm cooking, they would keep the shelves looking fine. Because of the fact, again, that I, I don't use this smoker very often because it's the bigger smoker I have, and honestly, it's overkill, I have to spray it down with pan probably once every six months. So I'm gonna spray it down very well. All right, we'll let that finish coming up the temperature. And uh, I'll let this finish coming up to temperature and we'll get the cook started. Maybe well, we can get this up to 300 degrees. All right, so we are back at Bernadette and the thermometer here shows 300. The thermometer here shows about 265, 270 hmm, ish. So that's one of the issues I have with Bernadette is she doesn't cook evenly or the fire, the heat isn't even. Obviously the heat and smoke come up from under here come out this side this is definitely the hot side so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our single picket and blanket on here all right I'll be right back
All right, now we're gonna let it cook. Now, of course, most people know this, but hot dogs are fully cooked and they come fully cooked. So what we're gonna actually have to do is monitor that pastry outside shell and make sure it's done. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Oh boy, and now we wait. All right guys, so we are holding steady at 300 degrees as told by this thermometer over here. This one, a little closer to 275, which is cool for when it settles in. I'm gonna go ahead and spend about five minutes. Oh man, check on this thing here. All right, so hopefully you can see, we have a little crusting at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, oh, look at that, that crust is getting great. I'm going to turn it over and we're going to just get it rested right there. Right. So it looks like we're coming along just fine. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Like I said, I'm going to get it turned over and we are going to let it cook for just a few minutes more, probably another five minutes. It seemed like the, and you know what, let's, let's get it turned this way. Since the heat and the smoke is coming up from over here. We'll get it turned that way and hopefully let the crust on that pastry brown just a little bit on the outside, on the other side. See you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back over at Bernadette and it has only been another, about five minutes and the temperature is starting to drop off a little bit. Kind of expected that, that whole bag of charcoal in Bernadette does not last very long. It has been, an hour an hour and a half since i started the fire an entire bag of charcoal will probably last about two hours max in here especially cooking at this temperature so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go ahead and get her opened up and oh yeah <gasps> are you kidding me Oh, that was, that was not staged. That was completely, yo, talk about the saddest day. Oh my gosh. I seriously did not, was not planning or trying to do that. This I was not trying to do that. This was cooked pretty much perfectly. Hot dogs are fully cooked, so you don't have to worry about making sure that the hot dogs are cooked. You just have to make sure that the pastry is done. And I dropped it on the ground. <laughs> yeah, for just have to laugh to keep from crying. <laughs> that is this moment right now <laughs> yo okay so the only saving grace is the fact that i plan to cook one single pig in a blanket and obviously film it for this video holy crap the good thing is i do actually have some more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get them on the smoker now and i'm going to cook them and hopefully I'll be able to eat one or some of them, but totally was not trying to drop the daggone thing. I wanted to eat it and have it and it be my breakfast more or less. So talk about bummed. Anyway, I guess at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get some more added to the smoker. This one. How fitting 
is it that I dropped it on the ground and it died on Memorial Day. I still can't believe I dropped it. I I can't. Now, so far, or what I've found is it doesn't take very long for these to cook, especially in here, which is good. Again, I don't have to worry about the temperature on the hot dog portion. I just have to worry about the temperature, or excuse me, I just have to worry about the doneness on the pastry on the outside. And I'm so blown right now. I, I like, I'm so so blown right now. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Perfect. See you guys in about five minutes. Actually, actually you know what? I'll see you guys when these are done. You've already seen what the process is. So I'll see you guys when these are done and I'm about to eat. So bummed. All right, guys. So it's been about another, about 10 minutes. I know the temperature is dropping off. So the temperature here is showing 275, right where the uh, pigs in a blanket are. So I'm gonna get them, get it open up. And <laughs> looks like they're done. The pastry, we wanna make sure that the pastry is done all of the way. And the pastry does look, in fact, done all of the way. Again, hot dogs are fully cooked. You don't have to worry about making sure the hot dogs are fully cooked. At this point, with the pigs in the blanket, you need to make sure that the pigs in the blanket are actually done. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys off. I'm going to leave one on for a picture. thumbnail <laughs> how ridiculous was this cook today guys ah. all right guys there you have it mm. beer pigs in a blanket Mm. I don't know how else to celebrate Memorial Day. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Roll the outro. More butter, baby. <laughs> thank you guys again, as always, for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Speaking of live, I go live every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Two hours. First hour, we talk about barbecue and or something barbecue business related. Second hour, we kind of shoot the breeze, talk to amongst friends. Make sure you bring a, a, a cool refreshment with you. Anyway, thanks again as always for watching. I'll see you next time.